Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Gene Edwards. You are watching Lubed for December the 10th, 2022 as I recap last night's game versus the Minnesota Wild and give you a preview of the next game against the Minnesota Wild again. Uh, yeah, this was a good game. I was very, very impressed with that, uh, with the team. Special teams was on par today, two out of three. Stu, I tell you, man, you're our number one as far as I'm concerned until Campbell can bump you off of it. Just a hell of a game by him. Nuge, a beautiful three-point game for him. Lots of good stuff to talk about. But one of the best things to talk about is it snaps a seven-game losing streak to the Minnesota Wild. And that is kind of like a breath of fresh air by itself. Because it has gone to the point that literally we call it a scheduled loss. It's just expected. The Oilers will lose to Minnesota. And that's how I've been feeling, uh, you know, since I've been doing the channel, basically. Like, okay, here we go. Minnesota, loss. But yeah, it was a very good game. Another strong game from Derek Ryan. He's starting to come around. Yammer gets his first of the season. So a lot of good things came out of this game. Uh, very pleased with the boys. Can't say enough. Cannot say enough. Let's get into last night's scoring summary. Um, it was a 5-2 victory for the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, the first goal came at 2.45 of the first period. So, this is good because the Oilers are actually getting on the board first. Derek Ryan, he gets his fourth. This was from Costin and Shore. That line is starting to really, really click. Love what I see out of those, out of those three. Uh, then, uh, six minutes later, Connor McDavid gets his 25th on the power play. We have a 2-0 game. The Oilers are leading 2-0 in the first period. No, no. Hear me correctly. The Oilers are leading 2-0 in the first period. So, yeah, I'm just kind of like blown away. Then, unfortunately, Erickson Eck uh, closes the gap by one at 11:24, Unassisted, his 10th. Um, that was a bit of a nurse fumble, but we won't get into that. Uh, it's all positive vibes on this episode. Then in the second period, Mark, uh, Matt Zuccarello ties it up on the power play at 6.22. We have an even game. And then Kyler Yamamoto, beautiful tip shot, gets his first of the year. Hopefully he'll start going. Uh, this was from CC, a shot by CC and Darnell Nurse. And then it was Leon Dreisaitl in the third period on the power play again. Like I say, the power play was awesome. Uh, this was assisted by Nuge and McDavid. And then Ryan Nugent Hopkins caps off the scoring with his 14th at 1951. And that there you have an Edmonton Oilers victory against the Minnesota Wild. They do meet again on Monday. And in a bit here, after I do the X Factors for tonight, we're going to get into the breakdown, uh, statistical breakdown of the matchup. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's get into the X Factors for tonight. Battle sport near the trapezoid around Lyle Centers. Chris Shot score! What a play by Jordan Everly and Taylor Long buries the go ahead goal. Okay, so. The power play. The power play kind of stumbled there for a few games, but I do believe it's back because the last couple of games, it's been pretty good. And once again, last night, they were two for three. And I think that was the difference maker was how good the Oilers were on special teams compared to Minnesota. Nuge was huge. Three-point night for Nuge and Hopkins. Um, two assists, empty net goal at the end there. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good night for Nuge. And then, I have to say this, but Stuart Skinner is with 100% in no doubt in my mind. 100%. Like, I know you hear Jay Woodcroft saying the 1A, 1B, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. 
100% Stuart Skinner is our number one goalie. And until Koskin can win the, or not, Ko, not Koskin, until Soup can win the net back, it's going to be uh, Skinner's to lose, essentially. So, yeah, a beautiful game for him. 955 save percentage. You can't, like, he's, he's awesome. He's playing really good. What can you say? Okay, let's break down the statistical breakdown for Monday night's game as the rubber match uh, will happen and the season finale or series finale uh, of these two teams will finalize on Monday night in Minnesota. Uh, when it comes to the goals, so first of all, Every aspect of offensive stats, Edmonton actually edged them. So I'm just going to say that right now. When it comes to goals, Edmonton is 5th in the league at 6.64. The Minnesota Wild is 17th, tied for 17th at 3.8. When it comes to shots on goal, Edmonton is 15th in the league with 32. Minnesota right behind them at 16th with 31.9. When it comes to face-off percentage... The Oilers are uh, 49.9, 16th in the league. Wild are 23rd in the league at 48.4. When it comes to the shooting percentage, um, the Edmonton Oilers are 6th in the league at 11.4. And the Wild are tied for 20th for 9.6. Now you may say, yeah, you missed the power play. I did this on purpose because Edmonton Oilers have reestablished first place in the league at 30.7. They've bounced back, baby. They're right at the top of the mountain again with the power play. The Minnesota Wild are 11th in the league at 24.1. When it comes to the defensive stats, when it comes to goals allowed, Edmonton Okay, well, I guess it would be Minnesota. I'll say Minnesota first. Tied for 17th, allowing 3.19. The Oilers are 22nd, allowing 3.46. When it comes to shots on goal, the Wild are 30th, or sorry, 9th in the league with 30, uh, averaging 30 shots. The Edmonton Oilers are 27th, averaging 30.4. This is a stat that the Oilers need to really work on. Um... Because it's still pretty high, despite last night's game, it's still pretty high. Uh, when it comes to penalty minutes, the Edmonton Oilers are actually pretty disciplined as they are ninth in the league at 8.6. The Minnesota Wild, the least disciplined team, as they are averaging 12.9 penalties. They are 32nd, the worst team for penalties in the league. And finally, when it comes to the penalty kill... The Minnesota Wild are 17th in the league at 78.2. The Empton Oilers are 27th in the league at 71.3. But you would never have thought that last night as the Empton Oilers did very well on their power or on their penalty kill and definitely very well on the power play, getting two out of three. So guys, that's about all I have for tonight. Um we're going to see the rematch Monday night. Let's hope we can see this team play the same way. I love what Woody's doing with coaching. As far as uh, as I see, he seems to be getting this team going in the right direction, and that's all that counts. And one thing of note, the worst part of the season, I think, is honestly over. The November from hell is over, plus the teams that they've played thus far have been pretty good teams. I think, honestly, the worst is over. I'm hoping I'm right by that. And that it's going to be, I wouldn't say paved road ahead, but I would say it's going to be a smoother road ahead for the Edmonton Oilers. Anyway, guys, I will see you Tuesday when I do the recap of the last and final game of this series as they play in Minnesota on Monday night, and I will give you a review of the next game. Okay, as always, stay healthy, stay happy, stay hydrated. We will talk soon. Keeps bleeding from the words I spit So sharp, so freezing So cold, the whole frostbite They feeling